Good morning, good morning, guys and gals. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. We're just getting our day started. It's been a, a little bit of a crappy, uh, crappy start for me because uh, I wanted to get going first thing this morning, and uh, something happened with my uh, for 21 kilometers. with my logbook here, and uh, you know when they. When we get to the yard, when I get home, I log out of the satellite, right? So this way, whenever driving occurs, that it doesn't put it on my Qualcomm, on my e-log, right? So this way, I actually have a reset done, right? Well, because of that, whenever I want to go out, I log back in. Then I have to reject the driving time that whoever drove here at the yard, the mechanics, right? So then, uh, I accidentally hit accept on one of the driving periods so because of that no I do not have a reset and for some odd weird reason or another apparently the uh, safety department is no longer allowed to edit those so they have no access to it so now I'm SOL I'm basically screwed luckily because I had a short trip I still have 39 hours available to me, but uh, that's only going to get me to Clinton, Massachusetts, and then I'm going to have to work on recap hours. Now, luckily, Monday I will start gaining hours back again for the United States of America, and Sunday I would start getting hours back for Canada, but the problem is... I only uh, left last week Sunday uh, late in the evening and I only drove up to Fargo so I only gained a four and a half hour uh, period. <clears throat> so it's not going to be a whole lot of hours that I'm going to have for, for Monday so hopefully I have some hours left from driving up there. I'm going to definitely hammer down this trip with this truck that's for sure. I'm going to definitely definitely hammer down I guarantee you on that. But anyways, let's hammer it down and uh, let's get our way going down to Clinton, Massachusetts. And uh, I also ordered something on Amazon that goes on front of my camera lens here. <clears throat> and so uh, I already put it on. So I'm kind of hoping you guys will be able to tell. You may not be, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. I put them lens covers on there and uh, it should make a little bit of a difference so we'll see what happens but meanwhile I got my work cut out because of all of that I got going a little bit later than I usually would and now it's a rush to try and get there for Monday morning right so now I got my work cut out I can't afford any wasting time at all so let's just hope that I won't have to sit at the border for a long time today. That would suck. GoPro, turn off. Just crossing the border, guys. Or just cross the border, I guess I should say. Now we're officially in North Dakota. Welcome, welcome to the United States of America, guys. Speed warning. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Anyhow. We have finally made it. Quite late in the day already, but hey, we have made it. It's quarter after 12 right now. So we got our work cut out, guys. It's gonna be a late one tonight, I can guarantee you that. Oh well. Not the first, not the last, right? Not the last time that I'll be driving late in the evening, but just looking at the screen there on the back of the GoPro there, it looks like it's uh, looking pretty nice there uh, as far as the colors go and the way it exposes now for the ground a little bit better. Yeah, I did something to it and uh, hopefully this is going to look really nice. I'm hoping for it anyways. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to put the hammer down, that's for sure. Usually I only drive 62 miles an hour. But this truck can actually do 67 miles an hour. 
and wherever the speed limit is uh, high enough for me to be able to do that I'll be doing that on this trip just because of my hour deal right but uh, other than that me and the wife went and had a uh, quick breakfast there uh, while we were trying to figure all this stuff out and uh, so I already had me something to eat so now uh, all that's left to do is drive yeah and that's what we're gonna do exactly that we're gonna be hammering down pretty good today and it looks like the road is nice and dry up here up in Manitoba it was still a little bit wet so for the most part up here it looks pretty dry except there a little bit on the shoulders there's a little bit of melting going on but I like this I like this new uh... <coughs> it's like an ND filter that I put on the on the camera there so that looks pretty neat the Sun doesn't look quite as bright or whatever I you know it kind of darkens it out a little bit or makes it more natural look right at least to me it does I guess only time will tell when we enter it into our computer and uh, we'll see how it looks then right but anyhow our plan is to make it past Black River Folds tonight so that means uh, that's gonna be a full 11 hour drive oh yeah Alrighty guys, we have just finished going through uh, Fargo, North Dakota and we are up coming up on the uh, Moorhead scale right now and they are definitely open today. I saw the lights flashing so we're gonna have to go ahead and pull her in here guys. We really will. Let me clean my windshield real good so you guys can see better. So a little bit of dirt on there I guess the road is still moist a little bit in some areas I guess so yeah I guess we'll have to go over the plate up here I guess it's because we are a little bit heavy right we're not overweight I did scale the load at home and uh, even there at the 52 59 corner over there it was uh, the scale over there was open too right so uh, I did see what my weight was over there so I do know that I am legal I mean you know I mean that was Canada too right so that makes a little bit of a difference too but well, it looks like we're gonna have to go on the plate today so let's see I'm hoping that it is gonna be alright because I mean I did scale it twice so not sure what's going to happen here but let me just turn this light off so that way it's not like a pointer out for me to pull I get pulled around to the back right so it looks like somebody is doing a snow removal up here yeah. I'm sure they're gonna make me pull on the scale and then stop and then they're gonna look at each individual axle to see what my weight is going to be so let's just move slowly forward yeah that's how I'll we'll look here. We'll be able to see all the individual axles too, so let's just lower my window. Continue on this road right, for 153 miles. That's how I'll we'll look. Alright, we're 33.5 on the drives, 33 on the trailer. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly like it was at, uh, at, at the house there, right? And so they gave me the exit to go ahead and exit. I'm just going to turn this light back on so you guys can see me a little bit better. But yeah, so here we are. Here we are. Got the A-OK -okay to go, right? So that's good news. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I guess they're all trying to make a few bucks before Christmas, right? But that's how it is. That's how it goes. Anyways, we are just hammering down. I gotta take my half an hour break somewhere yet. So I'm not exactly sure where we're going to do that, but we're going to have to do that here eventually. So let's get going and see what happens. Alrighty guys, we have decided to make a pit stop here in uh, Sock Center, Minnesota. We're just going to do a little bit of a walk around, but that sun over there is starting to look really really nice and orange over there yeah and 
we are taking our half an hour break now so i decided ah eh, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of a walk around here and just kind of see how things are right yeah i put this uh other lens cover on it and that's one of the reasons why i wanted to show you guys so it got a little bit of an orange tint to it just a tiny tiny little bit and it's more towards the top than it is on the bottom right but the uh, gopros have such a wide angle lens right so it might might look all right the sun is starting to go down over there like i said so looks kind of neat anyways it's not a drastic change it looks like but it is a little bit of an orange tint to it right but anyways that's gorgeous so i gotta go in and use the man's room it's the first pit stop i'm making right so i've been driving for a good long while already so i gotta go i have finally parked for the night yes indeed and i got 12 minutes remaining of driving time when i pulled in here and we are currently in uh, i think they call it dales wisconsin uh, wisconsin or something like that anyways we're done for today and uh i am actually heating up a little bit of food right in there yeah that's right and then uh i'm gonna go ahead and have that uh have me a little bit of food there and go to bed well i gotta schedule tomorrow's video yet but other than that we are done for today it was a long long day it was a thousand and about a thousand and ninety kilometers that i got in today so that is a super long day i have never actually made it from steinbach all the way to this truck stop before but it was also because i never drove and uh, driven uh, 67 miles an hour all day long right <clears throat> so that makes a big difference but we had a late start we got here uh, about 15 minutes after 10 <sighs> and I'm still a little bit sick <clears throat> so uh, that's probably why my videos are quite a bit of shorter I'm gonna try and make them a little bit longer again tomorrow or whenever right but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here I hope you enjoyed today's vlog anyways if you did please leave me a big fat thumbs up and share the video and don't forget to leave a comment below there as well we appreciate it and we'll see you back here tomorrow have a great day everybody